censorship. You want to take a stand against censorship? You want to take a stand for free speech? I know I do. And I know a way you can help me. That'll come at the end of the video. I really need your help and you can help me. First things first though, let's talk about whether or not life is meaningless under atheism. All the arguments that I've seen for the meaninglessness of life in the in the popular literature and all the uh, the YouTube Christian videos I've seen, they all depend on one assumption, one very faulty assumption, and that is the assumption that life can only be meaningful if it is of infinite duration. You're welcome to scour the literature. Maybe I missed something that you'll be able to find, but I have never, never seen any support for the idea that life is meaningful if and only if it is of infinite duration. Never on YouTube, never in the Christian literature, simply never. So where exactly does the Christian get off saying that life is meaningless if you're an atheist? Huh? Meaninglessness. In order for a Christian to even get an atheist to look like he's making that statement, he has to quote mine deeper than the dwarves in Moria. But as is so often the case, the Christian needs to take the beam out of his own eye first, because it turns out that actually, if one is consistently a Christian, if one remains consistent within the Christian worldview, then one finds that his own life is meaningless. There are many arguments to show that the Christian life is meaningless. I'll just give one here. Premise one, the Christian life is meaningless unless it is probable that the resurrection occurred. Premise two, it is not probable that the resurrection occurred. Conclusion, the Christian life is meaningless. St. Paul himself said this when he said, if the resurrection did not happen, then everything is for naught. Everything is hopeless. Hopelessness. That's enough of that. Everything is in vain if the resurrection didn't happen. This is one of the fundamental tenets of the Christian worldview. And if you want to see some good compelling reasons to believe that the resurrection didn't happen, as well as some great compelling rebuttals of these Christian apologists who grasp at the flimsiest historical straws to try to prove that the resurrection did happen, or at least that it probably happened, uh, here's one link below, Richard Carrier's Why I Don't Buy the Resurrection Story, a great essay. Also see his chapter in the recent really, recently released Christian Delusion book. He tears the, uh, the apologist who stands by the resurrection a new one, certainly. Leaves them with... Uh, a new meaning of the word empty tomb, if you ask me. So it's not the atheist's life that is hopeless, it is the Christian's life that is hopeless. He needs to look elsewhere, he needs to look for something secular to give his life meaning, to give his life hope. There is hope hopefully in his life, but it won't come from any sky daddy. Now, as for freedom of speech, as for censorship, if you want to help me take a stand against this, here's what you do. Download this video, there's a link below. Mirror it on your channel, just upload it to your channel, and post it as a response to the Atheist Antidote 2's video, I Am Atheism, to which this video is a response, but I can't post it as a response because Brock Lawley is so afraid of me that he blocked me the instant he started that channel. Ideally, I want his video flooded with this video, with responses from me, so that he knows that he cannot ignore his most vociferous critic. He cannot ignore his most philosophically sophisticated critic. He needs to pay attention. If he's going to be here on YouTube, and by the way, he's violating the, the terms of service just by being on YouTube, because if your channel is shut down for terms of use violation, you cannot create or access another channel. And yet he's got the Atheist Antidote 2, the Atheist Antidote 3, the Atheist Antidote 4, and so on. So, for better or for worse, he is violating terms of use. Let's send him a message. Let's send him a message that if he's going to go so far as to cheat to be on YouTube, he can't ignore us any longer. I'm David John Woman. The bank is closed. I'm still learning again. Sorry.